Good morning, it's uh, Good morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing the review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, the 1st of August 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Please be sure to visit uh, to, to don't certainly download the latest app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store via the Trade Signal. Okay, so European markets this morning certainly trading towards a weaker side now, especially the FTSE certainly getting hit hard given the fact that uh, Chinese. Uh, Concerns certainly linger in terms of trade wars. Okay, Mr. Trump certainly increasing the ante with regards to an increase of 25% now uh, as opposed to 10%. Okay, uh, it certainly seems like it's uh, an increasing it to 200 billion as well. So, uh, trade war concerns certainly remain after yes, last week's uh, resolution with regards to Europe. That's Europe certainly has stabilized to a large extent, and now the focus certainly remains on the, uh, the US and China. Now, we did get a potential bounce yesterday with regards to Mexico and US potentially coming to some sort of agreement there uh, and uh, comments regarding China and uh, Trump certainly coming to some sort of reconciliation but that certainly has uh, been poured cold water on this morning given the fact that the markets reversed quite sharply. Uh, also in terms of uh, Apple results obviously that, that's, that factor certainly remains. Apple earnings certainly helping indices as well but this morning it certainly seems that China is the weakest link and uh, that's causing, causing commodities to fall especially in terms of copper and oil which in turn is causing indices to fall as well. So certainly we've seen weakness all around. Okay, now uh, Europe certainly is remaining strong though. That certainly is one uh, factor at play. Uh, a lot of that obviously is due to the fact the Euro certainly is dipping back below 1.17. Economic data points this morning certainly have come in on the weaker side in terms of Europe generally. PMIs, French, Spanish, German, and even UK PMIs coming in weaker as well. Uh, Chinese cakes in, and manufacturing from uh, Japan certainly coming in weaker. So again, a risk of potential feel there. Uh, in terms of the technical picture now, then let's quickly run through that with you. As you can see, the German DAX dropping to that pivot of the day's low, uh, support around the 12.740 now. Okay, 60 minute chart again holding gap fill, reversing quite sharply there. Uh, daily chart as well, still holding gap fill resistance and looking weak from a European market perspective. Moving on to the French CAC now. French CAC, although um, uh, the uh, earnings front certainly coming in stronger uh, from BNP Baribas, but still French CAC certainly under pressure. Uh, daily chart at the moment, really we're coming into resistance around the 5540 zone. Key resistance there on the French CAC, so watch out there. In terms of the FTSE 100, as you can see here, quite a sharp drop on the FTSE, uh, quite a prolific drop at that. Okay, certainly coming under immense pressure on the FTSE 100 here and looking to potentially bounce at this support region here around the 7670 zone so watch out below pivot low being 7560 uh, as well so previous resistance equals support so this zone here quite an important uh, support level for the FTSE 100 certainly has been a uh, sharp drop especially given the fact that we rallied yesterday in the back of BP that certainly isn't the case at present okay so that's basically where we stand in terms of the FTSE 100 at present okay so a summation really your FTSE really is a weakest link on the back of commodities I was expecting a bounce around that 7690 level. We did get one, uh, but it was certainly um, short lived and we've obviously plunged ever since. So, certainly a weakness uh, persists on the FTSE uh, 100 at present. Okay, that's really the status quo. Keep an eye out for the uh, situation with regards to the BOE and the FOMC. FOMC really is the uh, obviously, obviously goes into play today at 7 07 pm. Keep an eye out there uh, in terms of US ISM manufacturing data so keep an eye on the UK US data front as well okay so I think that's a good summation really of uh, European indices be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and take advantage of that bonus goodbye now